San Francisco. It's The Cube. Here's your host, John Furrier. Hi, I'm John Furrier with Silicon Angle The Cube. We are on the ground here in Silicon Valley with the CEO and co-founder Mintigo, Jacob Shama. Welcome to the Cube Conversation. It's great to be here, thank you. Uh, Mintigo is one of those companies that's on our radar. Obviously, we're covering the cloud, we're covering mobile, social, and obviously big data, and we love data science. We love, we've been doing Hadoop World and these shows for many, many years, and you know, now you're starting to see data science attack real world problems. You guys, Mintigo, target specifically predictive analytics, predictive marketing, as some call it, uh, but there's a science behind it. So I, wanna, I gotta ask you, and I want you to tell the folks, they might not know Mintigo, what is Mintigo? And where did the idea to start it, and where did it all come from? Sure. So uh, we in Mitigo believe in the power of uh, data science. We leverage data science in order to fundamentally change the way that uh, people sell and market. Um, so Mitigo is, is a predictive marketing solution that actually focuses all the uh, attention, all the energy of the marketeers and the salespeople on those prospects that eventually will become a true customer. Avoiding all the noise, all the people that are actually not relevant for your offering, um, and 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 then actually match for each and every uh, uh, prospect the right offering, the right message, the right the right campaign, and the right channel. So you can think about it as as, as a navigator, a marketing navigator that that actually recommend for you at each and every point which is the best action to take as a marketeer for this specific uh, prospect. Is it a technology company or is it an agency? It sounds like, I mean, a lot of people talk about what you just said, it's like a lot of agencies and a lot of, you know, customer-centric organizations. Are you guys an engineering company or are you more of a services company? So, so this is actually a product. This is the, 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 the revolution that really happens. It's a true SaaS product that, that provides you this ability, this capability of really transforming the way that you do marketing. So, so uh, uh, each and every marketer can, can access this platform uh, based on our data and based on our, our, our uh, infrastructure and actually um, leverage this uh, data science for his advantage. And, and so it's, it's a very, uh, it's a very uh, uh, you know, uh, accessible uh, uh, tool that every marketer can and should use. So it's technology. It is, it is technology. It's a new technology with, with a very accessible rep that can really uh, be relevant for Every market. Okay, so i got to ask you the question. How did you guys come up with the idea? How did it all come together? You guys having a, a coffee in the cafe and said, hey, let's start a company and solve sales problems? Or was it rooted deeper in some, some other passion or itch that you were scratching? So I, 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 you, you can say uh, out of my uh, accent that I wasn't born here. I'm Israeli. Um, and, and, um, and the main idea, we spent uh, many years you know, in, 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 uh, in Israeli intelligence and, and uh, some of the ideas that, that evolved out of those big data analysis and, 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 and the way that you really can um, track and analyze behavior, this was kind of the core idea. So we, we are a technology company. Um, most of our engineers and our, our core technology is based in, in Israel. And we came with this, with this idea instead of uh, uh, trying to uh, um, find you know, bad people, let's use the same technology the same uh, uh, concept to find good people, customers. And this is actually how, how it started. Of course, it evolved within this trend of uh, marketing automation and, 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 and uh, this, this uh, new wave of uh, predictive uh, analytics. And it, it's a per perfect fit because what you do is you leverage big data, you're trying to find signals that are relevant for your product, and you never talk to, to. I love sales lingo. You know, you hear things like "he's a good suspect," um, and that's actually the words that they use. It means suspect, good, yeah, a good suspect, a good I guess. Suspect, a um, one. Uh, so, machine learning, all this stuff that goes on, is technology that you're very familiar with, and certainly, you know, from an intelligence standpoint, you know, knowing pattern recognition, these are things exactly. that computers can do. So, I got to ask you, kind of, the, on the product question, because uh, a lot of people are, are, are worried about this problem right now. You, you know, for the first time in modern business history ever, you can actually measure everything. So, you know, you can actually put the most expensive salesperson in front of the right customer at the right time it is the holy grail. Uh, is that kind of what you guys are thinking about? Exactly. I think that the, the, the uh, one of the key uh, changes is that now you can measure everything. You cannot, it's not just the selling of the product. You can really measure before and after. 
What was the ROI before? What is the ROI after? What is the, uh, the uplift before? What is the uplift uh, uh, after? And actually, we encourage our, our uh, customers to check, you know, before buying our product, do a test, try to see whether we can really spot a true customer. Uh, um, and actually, we can show you that this is the machine finds this customer, this is a true customer uh, for you. And if everything is eventually, you know, you, you just see the result, but every, everything is built on top of this big, big data because everybody can do predictive, but in order to do a good predictive, you need this, this mess, mess of data. It's exciting to see how real time and data and computing is hitting these markets that just weren't available before, whether it's advertising in, uh, in the media business or sales disciplines, they're seeing for the first time new solutions. So I have to ask you, um, what's the use cases? I mean, how does a customer engage with you guys? There's a lot of snake oil out there. I'm seeing a lot of solutions that just, you know, smell like social sales, as they say. But really, there's not a lot of meat on the bone out there, and it's just a lot of kind of feels like a gimmick. Uh, some some of the solutions and conversations out there. What makes you guys different? What specific use cases can you share? So, so let's take a, a company that uh, has, for example, ten different products. Okay, and there is a flow of, of demand coming from events, coming from their website, coming from you know their, their house list. So what first what we are doing is actually the system itself find what makes a good customer in terms of his profile, in terms of in intent for a specific product. Okay, so there is kind of a, a routing in between the flow of demand to the specific offers. So we screen out all, all the people that are not relevant for the offers. And then we we uh, we um, we tag each and every uh, prospect to the right offering, and then from that point you have a specific a specific group of people that are relevant for an offer, and then you can now execute on the right campaigns, the right message, the right channel. What channel will you, will will uh, be the best for those group in order to do uh, a conversion? So actually, we are taking the entire funnel from the top of the funnel to the conversion. And, and, and kind of automated in, in a predictive way, meaning we, we, we so choose- customer data and external data or both? So both, we, it's, it's, uh, it's the strength of uh, being able to predict uh, 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 marketing the results is based both on your data, your house list, your CRM, and the external data that you can bring on those people, on those companies. So you mash that up. Yes, and exactly. Then, and do you automate it? So all that stuff you mentioned is automated. Everything is automated. So, so whenever you create what we call a model, meaning that, that this is the, the filter or the screening method in order to uh, validate whether this prospect is a good fit of, uh, for a product or not, after having this, uh, this uh, model, everything is fully automated. We, we leverage online all the data that you, we can collect from the web that is relevant for this decision, and, and it's fully automated. It's, it's a flow of leads that actually get to the point of conversion. So it sounds like a lot of buzzwords like automation, orchestration. That sounds like the cloud to me. So you're obviously in the cloud, SaaS yeah, product. Yeah. <laughs> so the cloud's coming to sales. It is, to, to marketing and sales. Yeah. Okay, so final question for you to wrap this up, segment up and appreciate your time is, what's the vision for the company? Where do you see it going out five, 10 years? Um, I see a lot of passion. You have a lot of domain expertise. You bring in some great discipline to a market that needs it. Uh, what, but what's the vision? What's Jacob's vision for this company? So our vision is really to create this self-driving car for marketeer. I think that the technology is there. You know, the data is there. The predictions are there. So I envision a situation where the CMO just guide, you know, the, the goals, where he wants to, to go, what is the, the goals. And from that point, this is an automated self-driving car. It means for each and every deal, for each and every prospect, it match the right product automatically, it finds the best the best campaign that, that will be in, uh, uh, that will generate the impact with this uh, prospect and eventually choose the, um, the messaging channel, either the social one, email, uh, or, or any other channel to really get the maximum response. So, 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 and, and we are not very far from that. So are you excited by the whole Internet of Things and the mobile revolution? Yeah, I think that my inspiration is, is, is companies like Amazon that take this, uh, this uh, you know, prediction and data-driven uh, marketing to the extreme. You know, I'm, 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 I saw uh, recently they're, they're um, uh, filing for, for a, a patent around this capability of really predicting, actually st starting shipping your, your package before you even uh, order it. This is amazing. This is actually exactly what 
Louis a brain Louis. implanted chip on, oh, on uh, no. I want to buy that. <laughs> Deducted from my Apple Pay account. Jacob, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. Mint to go, hot company. Now, what's next on finance? And give us the stats of the company and how big. Can you close any recent funding? You're doing around. What's going on? So we are backed by Sequoia Capital. Uh, uh, we are th this this market of uh, predictive market and uh, marketing is, is growing tremendously. After this very successful wave of marketing automation with the IPO of uh, Eloqua and the acquisition of Eloqua and then uh, IPO of Marketo and recently HubSpot, you know those marketing automation uh, uh, system needs this kind of brain on, on top of that the data driven marketing the predictive so. Every advanced marketeer is actually looking onto, uh, into this uh, solution. So it's a good time to be in, in this uh, space, and um, you know, the, the, the trends are, are very uh, growing really, really fast. Mega trends are there. Social meets sales. I'm John Furrier. We're on the ground here in Silicon Valley. It's a CUBE conversation. Thanks for watching.